Okay, folks, um, what has formerly been known to the world as sun dogs, and we have been told they are an optical illusion of our eye, because what this is what they're actually covering up. They're covering up the fact that our suns work in unison with other suns to create giant sun dogs uh, for things to, i.e., travel on, I, I, I think, baby stars or whatever you want to call them, but they are truly utilising this to travel these things. That is a star, people. Um, and they travel together. They are all in perfect alignment, north to south. The whole universe is in perfect north to south um, unison. And um, it's quite amazing to actually see, as you can see here by my compass, everything's in north-south. It doesn't matter which way I point north, you'll always see a perfect alignment. Um, this is something you'll notice these things are always parked next to trails. That is what's left of a fueling station. These are the creatures or whatever they are traveling on these trails. Sometimes these trails travel all over the place. There are, um, they use them and uh, recycle whatever's left of them. And um, I believe that they harden even. And I mean harden because uh, there's actually pictures of them being chopped up. Uh, as you can clearly make out, there's some little lights within them. There's a lit one, i.e. sitting at the side of the trail, just, um, I gather, getting ready to travel. Here they are travelling on the trail, and I mean multiples travelling on the trail. Uh, this is what's left of a halo after it's been harvested by something else. Um, you can clearly see that there's scoops within it there they're taking. This is a sun that has personally dropped the halo. Um, and I call them fueling stations because something else goes through them and eats them up and disposes of what's been left behind. And as I said, that's either a... Um, yeah, actually, I don't know. That could be a shit. Uh, but, yeah, it's amazing what you actually see here. These are trails. That chop-off part is actually NASA chopping that off um, with another image. But again, that's what's left of one of the halos. You can see marks throughout the halo of something going through and chewing it up. This is a sundog being created. NASA has been analysing them. They are not optical illusions. And um, that previous image, I'm going to actually go back to that one in another video and talk about that in depth. You can sort of see why with some of these images. Uh, I believe this is what's uh, happening with them. They were suns propelling themselves, by the way, what you were just seeing there. Uh, that's truly what our sun looks like, by the way. Um, this is a photograph of a donut that NASA has blown up and uh, high res uh, as it is travelling on different days. And as you can clearly see, something pops out of them, i.e. stars pop out of them. And that bright star, I believe, to be either a parent type thing. Yeah, now these are very interesting as well. I think they've got something to do with what's going on out there. Um, these things compared to us people make us look like a microbe. The, they, the beings that utilise these, I gather, would most probably need a microscope to see us. So yeah, we are not alone in the universe. We are not the centre of the universe. We are but a microbe in the universe. My um, my beloved human beings that um, we share this earth. Um, we share a tiny little speck in a great big universe. And these, some people I think have referred to these as contrails um, and everything. I have looked at them for the reason that someone told me they were there, but I started connecting the dots with images that I've seen from NASA. But these are the ones that actually interest me, these buggy type creatures. They are absolutely amazing. That is something inside that thing lighting it up compared to uh, ones that are beside it that is just sitting there and only have a few in there. Um, now that blue thing is actually utilised by suns for some unknown reason um, and again that's one of the donut type things that we've just seen. NASA had the image of it blown up and everything and they are different colours and they are different colour spectrums and even the halos that are dropped are different. Uh, because there are yellow suns, there are red suns, there are green suns, there are blue suns, um, and they are small and they're large. And I believe that's a that's, that's a harvested uh, halo. And again, there's some more of the buggy type creatures travelling on them. I call them bugs. I don't know what to call them. That's the sun that has dropped that halo. 
And um, they, our sons do propel themselves, people. You will actually see photos of our sons pushing themselves with a propulsion system. And again, that's that, uh, just a zoom out of that bug that's on the line. Now, when these sun dogs are created, sometimes they create a red one, and hence there's the suns utilising what's ever there. Um, I call them bugs mainly because of that image there, you know, because it looks like an eye within the creature. But again, I now know because of the NASA images that they, they are used by multiple things. Now, I don't know whether it's the, um, the way that they utilise these these things, um, whatever they are, they sort of they utilise whatever's around. It's amazing. I'm I'm still dumbfounded what I see. I still can't explain it. I I can't give you a perfect scientific explanation, people, because I don't even think the scientists can give you a perfect explanation. Because unless they've actually had direct contact with whatever are creating these things, they are making guesses the same way that I am. I just believe my guesses are a little bit more informative because my IQ is just as high as theirs. And um, trust me, now I believe this one's a craft, by the way. Um, just the shape of it. Now I found this spacecraft next to a nebula picture. Um, again, there's that little bug. It just interests me, that one. That's why you see it a lot. Just to keep it in your mind that... Um, that's life, and uh, it, it's life that either it's life itself or it's something that is life has created that. Now, that's to the extent of these bug type creatures. Now, you can see all the scoop marks going through that. That is something harvesting them. Now, that is a NASA image that's not being chopped off. That is something that actually has chopped it up. You'll see in a moment, you'll actually see them chopping it up and moving the pieces and what they make out of it. And I mean, they make things out of it, and it's uh, i.e. where the idea for the Borg Cube came from, I gather. Um, so for all you Trekkies, there was a reason why the Borg Cube was come out. So um, I believe it's so that if an explanation ever comes out or this was ever spotted, they can say, oh, this guy's just a Trekkie. Uh, but guys, these images that I got are supplied by uh, the DSS Corporation and... Um, i.e. connected all to NASA. These are Hubble telescope images that Google uses for Google Sky. And so you're seeing what I'm seeing. You can go and view these things for yourself. Um, the information is at the bottom of every photo. All you have to do is simply pause the screen to actually get the location of what I'm seeing here to go and see for yourself. Trust me, NASA is going to work their backsides off to cover all this up. Now, again, that's a chop-off image. That hasn't been chopped by NASA. Now, here it is again. This is pieces of it being chopped out of it. And that was just a weird sun that I, th I saw. Now, this is what they use to make... They use them to make the square things that, i.e., oh, yeah, you could call a ball cube. And here we go, 14 sun dogs all in a row, creating a very, very long trail through space and that this is what they are travelling on and this is what I mean folks our sons are either intelligent or being controlled by intelligent creatures um, and things that you that we've said are being slammed into our sun they're not slamming into our sun I believe their craft entering the the actual corona of the sun and uh, uh, forgive me that's a um, picture from Atlantis um, unfortunately it's too late to chop it out um, so I've just left it there. And uh, that's a planet that I found, by the way, folks. So there are other planets out there. That is the suns propelling themselves. That is a photo of suns propelling themselves, folks. And you can see there's plenty of them doing it. And again, we've got some more of the buggy-type creatures, which are just basically giant gas clouds, really, that are used by suns, and they travel on the trail like that. That's amazing uh, what you're actually seeing. That is NASA analysing a sun dog just as it's starting. And again, that's the images. You can see the halo being pushed out from the thing, and it is a mechanical type thing. Now, I believe that is the craft that is being propelled from them. Um, there is another image, and I'm going to discuss the suns themselves in a great detail from NASA evidence. That's what they build out of them, folks. Um, I call them cities, but. Um, I believe that's just part of them. I have actually seen with my own eyes what looks to be a perfect cube. Now, it's always said that when God returns, that he will return in a giant city that uh, basically says it goes from one side to the other and the perfect dimensions of a cube. Now, you can see there multiple sun dogs being created in that other image. 
That is an image of a sun. Again, a sun propelling itself. And NASA is analysing it. And again, there's that spacecraft again appearing again. Uh, and that's what our suns look like, people. They are truly not what we believe. And that's the donut type thing that NASA has blown up over a period of time, taken multiple shots of. So yes, they are being utilised. I've just connected all the dots, people. That's all I've done. You don't have to be a genius to know that I've hit it right on the mark. And uh, that bright yellow sun is um, either the lead, lead craft or the lead being. And um, personally, I think they're craft. And again, there's that little spacecraft. I love that little picture. And again, 14 sun dogs all in a row. Our suns are intelligent or being controlled by intelligent people.